The jump rope, a single piece of equipment the young athlete can use to improve strength, power, and speed. But what about balance? Today I will go over how to improve young athletes balance in using a single jump rope. You ready? Let's take a look. Balance and body awareness is a key component for all sports and without it, well, you're really limiting your ability to perform. But what if I told you there's a way to improve balance but with a jump rope, but without jumping the rope? Today, let's look at some exercises you can perform with a jump rope to improve balance and decrease the chance of injuries. This is a fun and challenging exercise for all athletes of all ages. So let's take a look. Hey everyone, David was back again to develop the Young Athletes Network. Again, I have with me Coach L. That's gonna help us out as far as demonstrating something that is very important. We talked about jump rope and jumping rope, but I said we'll do something that doesn't require jumping with the rope. No, this requires something to deal with balance, but we don't wanna look at me, we wanna look here. What we're gonna do is learn how to use the jump rope for balance. What we're gonna do here is this is something that is a tandem walk, dealing with heel toe, we're gonna to walk the line around here. This is great teaching balance at all ages, but it's also dealing with mobility through the ankle, something that is sometimes neglected when we start working with development of balance and body control and awareness. So let's look at this here. So what Coach Yell is gonna do for us first, she's gonna start on one side of the rope. She's gonna walk heel to toe. It's important that the toe and the heel touch. As she brings her foot in front, it's toe to heel, and the athlete is gonna hug that rope. The focus here is on making sure that you can come in close contact as you can with the rope. What I have athletes normally do with this is they'll do a good four laps around the rope. We'll have you come all the way back around good. Focusing on upright posture. doing a good job keeping balance with this. We want to make sure. If you notice, you really can't see, but there is actually some inversion, eversion, side to side movement with the ankle. If you can see that there, you can't really, but athletes should do this barefoot. Here's the thing too. If you're telling me, you know what, this is easy. Well, I got a couple more things to show you that make this more challenging. You see how she just walked forward? Let's get back in that position. Now you're gonna walk, instead of heel to toe, you're gonna to walk toe to heel backwards. Now what is it teaching? This is great teaching body awareness. You gotta feel where that rope is at. Now she's not gonna go all the way around because I'm gonna show a couple more things, but you guys and everyone is getting the idea here. You're trying to still hug that rope. Now, the other thing you can do with this exercise is that if this, I always call it the Superman S to start with because it's in that S position. You can take the rope, get creative. I can make the rope a little bit tighter with the curve. Now, look at that there. Look at, so now it's a little bit more tighter curve. They can walk this here. This is another way to do it. Another way to do it is to have the athlete walking in. I'm just having you walk this line portion here, heel to toe, and add a little bit of distraction there. What you're doing, you a little bit of movement here back and forth, seeing if you can knock her off course, having her still cue to keep that posture upright to see if we can get them challenged with losing balance. You want to try to get them to lose balance. Try this at home. This is a great starting exercise for athletes of all ages. Parents, coaches get involved too, because I guarantee you, it'll be challenging for everyone. So everyone, take a look at this here. We're having fun with it. You have fun with it too, and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, so today we worked on the jump rope, something that's fun and creative that everyone can do at home. And if you don't have a rope, I forgot to add this in, what you can do is take a, a rope itself, or if you have an extension cord, get creative if you don't have a jump rope. That concludes today's creative way of teaching you how to walk and keep your balance. So make sure to do us a favor, subscribe to us, and also hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. We look forward to additional videos that we bring out to you and always end with. Everyone take care.